Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and this is another two-minute tech tip. Here with today's tech tip is Stephen Feuerstein. Stephen is an architect with Oracle with a focus on the Oracle PL SQL language. How are you, Stephen, and what's the topic of your tech tip? I'm doing great, and the topic of my two-minute tech tip is how to get rid of spaghetti code. Okay, so remember, the clock will be running, an alarm will sound at the end of two minutes. I'll give you verbal warnings at 30 seconds and at the final 10 seconds. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, your two minutes begins now. Okay, so one approach I could take to a two-minute tech tip is to talk really fast, but I always talk really fast, so there's not much point in doing that. So what I'm going to do is talk pretty slowly and still manage to get this tip across to you because... It is a simple tip, and it will totally transform your code. So the worst thing people can do when they write code is write spaghetti code. You write these procedures, these functions that are hundreds, thousands of lines long. You start a loop on line 15, and at line 1725, you're writing end loop, and you can't even remember what you're ending. Not only do you get lost in your own code, but everybody else gets lost in that code too when they have to maintain it because you left, and you left your spaghetti code behind. So that's the bad news. The good news is that it's really easy to fix. You don't need to buy a special tool, though tools can help, and SQL Developer offer some key features in this area. Uh, you don't have to ask your boss for permission. You can just start changing the way you write your code. So the tip is very simple. Keep your executable sections, the number of lines of code between begin end or begin exception, down to maybe 50 or 60, maybe even like 20 or 30, really tiny chunks of code. And the w main way you do that is by modularizing your code and the key technique here is not so much separate private programs in your package, but nested subprograms. So right inside the declaration section of one procedure or function, you can declare another procedure or function, and inside that procedure or function, declare another procedure or function. So take those blobby pieces of code, 20, 30, 40 lines of code that say 30 seconds. initialize your variables, and put them inside a separate procedure called initialize. So the first line of every executable section should be initialize. The last line should be cleanup. And those are procedures that you define within that, su that subprogram as nested subprograms. Do the same thing over and over again. You can do it iteratively with existing or new code. And you end up with essentially an executable section that looks like a table of contents, self-documenting what that program is supposed to do. Easy to do. You can start right now. Damn, you are good. <laughs> Stephen, thanks for a great tip. Hope to do this again soon. Looking forward to it, Bob. Thanks a lot. <laughs>